Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, the one and only host and cruise, bringing you another exciting edition of boxing. Don't forget to hit and to like, subscribe to my channel. It's always going to be appreciated. Stay tuned. Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, host and cruise, and guys, I am here to talk about the rematch, the official rematch, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is official November 2nd. Mark your days on the calendar as... Robinson Conceição out of Brazil, Brazilian's first world champion with a gold medal, will be defending, will make his first title defense against, rightfully so, the man he took it from, Oshaki Foster. In what was one of the most highly controversial um, championship fight decisions in recent memory that took place on um, July earlier this year, um, just a few months ago, so now they're going back it again on November second. Rightfully so, you know. Like I said, it was it was a highway robbery decision. You know, I I I like Conceição. Sao. You know, coming into the fight, I actually wanted him to win this fight just to get that big win he rightfully deserves after coming up short in all his big fights. Um, you know, I wanted to see him get that big win and become world champion. He got it, but is the way he got it. And then I was not happy about it. I was not satisfied about it. It was what it was. He was announced and determined new champion. And it was just one of the worst decisions I've seen in the history of the sport. You know, Oshaki Foster, the point when the where, when they were reading the scores and when he heard that 113-115 score, you know, there's the concern, the red flags were already starting to show, and man, the expression of Oshaki Foster with his mouth wide open and the complete awe and shock when they said new world champion by split decision. The split decision in boxing is a close fight. This fight wasn't even close. Foster outboxed Robinson majority of the fight, but yes, he did, he did not land the, the most effective shots, but he landed the more cleaner shots, and he just boxed excellently. Used his jab, countered counter shots. He countered well. He didn't get into any exchanges with Robinson, um, like he did with Rocky Eduardo Hernandez and um, Abraham Nova. Foster came in with a different game plan. He chose to box more in this fight and um, use his jab and counters. And to me, it worked pretty well. I didn't see not one round. For me, I didn't see not one round for Robinson Conte Stein that you could say he won he won a round. Honestly, it was just that clear of a shutout. Uh, and this is just me being generous. If you want to give Robinson Conte Stein two rounds just for just for being aggressive and 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 bringing the fight and you know not giving up. And throwing his shots, even though most of them weren't landing clean because of Ofa Shaki Foster's um, tremendous defense in that fight. You know, a lot of the shots were blocked, caught on the waist of Foster, the um, the shoulder of Foster. One or two good punches here and there, but that's it. Oshaki Foster landed the cleaner shots. Um, out box, obviously, Colt Seisao, you know. And we were expecting a firefight in that fight, and we didn't get anything like that, you know. It was just a pure boxing clinic from Foster. Um, the judges, I don't know what they saw. Maybe they wanted, they maybe they give it to Robinson Conceição, like I said in my first video, right after the fight. Just because he was... Never got that rightfully big win decision that he, you know, he so rightfully deserved that big win. And uh, to make him the first ever Brazilian gold medal winner to win a world title. I guess they wanted to have help Brazil win some history, get some history, and they got it. But, like I said, man, I did not see Robinson Conceição win any rounds. You know, Foster won it clearly. Split decision loss for Foster. You know, I was like, wow. I even said it in the comment section. I'm happy for, I'm happy for Robinson Conceição becoming a world champion, but this was not the way to do it. You know, this was not the way to do it. And coming into this fight, Robinson Conceição had to win this fight. Otherwise, that's it. At 36 years old, that's it for him. Came up short in his biggest fights. And if he had lost this fight, this was what this was what, this would have been the biggest 
the last opportunity on the world stage, main event stage, and lastly, championship, last championship opportunity. And he won. He won. Even though it's controversial, he won. So now he's back in the mix, and he's going to be defending his title against Foster. Rightfully so, the WBC jumped on it because it was a bogus decision, and the only thing they can do is rematch. So here it is, November 2nd, in Verona, New York, live on ESPN, main event, and um, Rob is going to say Sal versus Oshaki Foster 2 for the WBC Super Featherweight World title. I'm your host, Austin Cruz. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. It is always a pleasure to talk to you guys about boxing, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.